To celebrate Peter's big birthday, I've come up with a delicious Peter Rabbit inspired cake recipe. Why not follow along with your child to create a Peter Rabbit parsnip and blackberry cake? Head to peterrabbit.com forward slash Peter Picnic Party for the full recipe and for everything you need to celebrate Peter's birthday and have a Peter Picnic Party this summer. Now, this is the simplest recipe and it's like a carrot cake, but with parsnips. It's absolutely delicious. So we've got our flour, our baking powder. Now we're gonna add our sugar and our chopped roasted hazelnuts. Right, and now onto our wet ingredients. So I've got some vegetable oil in here and into that I'm gonna crack three eggs. And this isn't like a normal cake batter mix. It's really thick, so you get this delicious, dense parsnip cake. Okay, now for the grated parsnip. So add that in there. And then we're gonna zest two lemons, just for some, just some freshness. And now really give this a good mix. This doesn't even look like cake batter, but my goodness, does it taste good. So what you're going to be left with is a cake batter that doesn't look like a cake batter. It's packed with parsnips, so it's sweet and it's fragrant. And we're going to divide this mixture between the two tins. So now I'm going to pop these into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So I've taken the cakes out of their tins and left them to cool completely on the rack. And now let's get on to making our Swiss meringue buttercream. So add egg whites some sugar. So I'm just going to keep mixing this till the sugar's dissolved, but I need it to get to 72 degrees. And I'm going to use a digital thermometer. Fun fact, Peter Rabbit's favorite thing to eat is radishes, but the idea of a radish in a cake, even I couldn't get it. I was like, mm, I don't know if that's going to work. So what I have used is parsnips. Parsnips work just like carrots. They're sweet, they're fragrant, and actually I think they might be better than carrot cake. So we've got it to 72 degrees. Let's give it a quick mix straight into the bowl. So I'm gonna start whisking this till you get a gorgeous, light, glossy meringue and really kind of bring that temperature down. So you, you can see that's whisked up and you've got like that lovely billowy meringue. Now we wanna turn it into a buttercream by adding our butter. So turn it back on and a cube at a time, just drop it in and let it mix in. So now we want to add some flavour to our buttercream. We've got the parsnip in the cake, but we want that gorgeous colour and that flavour of the blackberry. So now I'm going to smush the blackberries. What we want is the juice. We want the colour without all of the seeds. Let's just smush them around just to release that beautiful purple colour. So we're now going to push the fruit through the sieve just to get the juice and leave the seeds right here at the top. Can you see that? Look at that. So I am going to use a fresh vanilla pod and this is gonna add that intense vanilla flavor. Just scrape it out and whack that straight in there. Add our blackberry juice straight in there and then just give it one last whisk so you get everything really well combined. Look at that. That's our meringue done, cake's done. Now all we've gotta do is put this thing together. This is going to be phenomenal. It's just, it's just such a delicious, beautiful cake. So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's put that one on there. So we're gonna take a tiny, tiny amount of the buttercream and lay it all over the top. We're gonna to create a fruit and buttercream wall. Pipe one mound, pop a blackberry on there and just keep doing that till you've gone all the way around. We've created like a beautiful, delicious barrier. We want to fill it with more buttercream and blackberry jam. So all the flavor, lots of layers. And this will just stop any of our jam falling out. Got jam in a piping bag and just fill, 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 fill. So we are going to now add another thin layer of that buttercream. Obviously be a bit more careful this time because you've got all of that loveliness under there. So cover the top. The more buttercream, the better, always. And then like this, you can go now go to town. 
you can do whatever you like decorate it however you want so I am going to now I like to decorate my cakes with whatever I've got inside the cakes we've got blackberries we've got hazelnuts and we've got lemon so go to town decorate it however you want I'm also going to add a Peter Rabbit cake topper to make it extra special. That is our parsnip and blackberry cake. Now all that's left to do is take your cake outside and have a Peter picnic party. pictures of your Peter picnic party. Use the hashtag Peter picnic party and be in with chance of winning some goodies. You can go to peterrabbit.com forward slash Peter picnic party and get more information and the recipe for this cake. Happy birthday Peter Rabbit!